Hi, I'm Jessica Gia with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and today in my backyard, I'm going to show you how to make a simple mock setup. What is this going to look like? Here's a preview. On this porch, you can see the following. A white sheet hangs off a long red strap tied between two tall posts. The sheet is outstretched vertically. The top edge is secured by clothespins, while the two bottom corners are each clipped to a pan of paint. The black light is hung from the top middle of the sheet by dangling it over the strap. It hangs vertically. It sits illuminating the outside, or rather, on the side where you think insects will be coming from. But you don't have to use these exact materials. You can get creative. Your goal is to make a flat, white, stable surface with an insect attracting light shining on it. Here's a view of the same setup from the backside. You'll want to set everything up during daylight, and then about half an hour after sunset, turn on the light. After a few hours, insects start showing up. Now I call this a moth setup, but really we're interested in all insects. So here you'll see lots of little midges, some scarab beetles, and a mantid. The last step you'll need is patience. The first few nights you try, you might not get many bugs. And also know that the beginning of the night is usually really slow, and after about 10.30 or 11 p.m., more insects start showing up. Okay, let's go over what we need again. So first thing you'll need is a white sheet of some sort. Next, you'll want a strap or a string or a rope. You want something to clip up your sheet with, like clothespins. Most importantly, you'll want a black light, like this long one. An extension cord. And lastly, you'll want something heavy that you can secure the bottom of your sheet with. Now, I use a can of paint with a clip, but you could also come up with another way to use rope and clip it at the bottom or tie the bottom down to the ground somehow. That just keeps your sheet from blowing in the wind. Thanks for watching. Hopefully soon you'll get to take a whole bunch of really cool bug photos like these. And in the meantime, follow us on facebook.com slash for more videos or to find an event near you. Thanks.